So I have been thinking about doing a skincare um, video and this is me just getting around to it. So I have a shiny new set up, um, I have a new light which you'll be able to see reflected in my glasses for a while but hey ho the wonderful world of wearing glasses and I got myself a wee body shop shop. I'm very proud of it. Anyway, um, so what I use every day is cleanser, toner. This is new to me, so this stuff is so beautiful. I got it in my kit and um, I'm a wee bit converted. Um, another new to me thing. Um, eye cream is something that I never used in my 20s, started to think about it in my 30s, started using it after 35. Anybody else find, like, after 35, your skin's like, nah, man, I'm done. <laughs> like, I was so proud of my skin, although, you know, I did work in the body shop in my teens, so I used a lot of this stuff anyway, so it may have um, given me that false sense of... Uh, your skin is amazing but it was because I was using products on it like I was just like I naturally have really good skin uh, yeah you do because you treat it properly anyway rambling this is a moisturizer I'm using currently um, but I also have um, a new one to try so um, of course the postman has just pulled up to my door so so that was worth uh, stopping the video for. Um, the postman was not for me. So I stopped my video, went to the door, opened the door. He was going to my neighbour. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so in this video we are presuming our face is clean. Um, I'll definitely go over masks and washing your face to your skin type. Um, if it's not something you do currently, I know you might be a bit sceptical. Um, you know, how many of our grandparents went, you know, soap and water is all you need. Absolutely, like that will clean your face. It will also strip your face <laughs> of any beneficial um, oils, etc. I have extremely dry skin. I've always had extremely dry skin. It is not a hydration thing. I drink tons of water. Um, I've just always had really, really dry skin. Um, the nice thing about the body shop is they have individual products to aim at the issue that you're having. So when I was younger, I used a lot of the aloe vera stuff. The aloe vera is community trade. So you're laughing. Vote with your dollar. Um, but I've moved to bite vitamin E. Um, I was just saying to one of my team members the other day, um, I've recently converted to this, um, even before I, I joined the body shop, the lady I was buying from, um, I, I got it from her. This is a good old rounder for everybody. And it's also quite good if you have a combination skin. So do you ever get it like, your nose might be really, really dry. I'm getting it real bad here just now. See, because I'm wearing a mask all the time, it's just constantly rubbing on my nose. Um, but then maybe you've got like an oily forehead or um, an oily T-zone is really common. And especially for us just now here in Scotland, it's freezing. So you've got a hat on all the time, eh? So vitamin E is really, really good for combination skin it's a good old rounder especially if you're new to skincare and you're like mm, skincare is not my thing <laughs> this is a good one to start with um the actual vitamin e oil is very good for scarring it won't remove a scar but i'll share you share with you um my scar story for vitamin e this is my personal story everybody's skin is different right but if you can tell, this is a scar right here. This scar used to be much, much longer. It came around like this because when I was a waitress in a whole other lifetime, I was carrying 
pints on a tray, slipped on the non-slip tiles, and I went up and landed on my butt. And of course, all the beer went up, came down, and I put my hand on top of it and it cut it. Um, and at the time, I was also working at the body shop, or it was straight after that, I can't remember. Um, and the lady that I worked for, her manager was phenomenal. Like her um, product knowledge was just phenomenal. She'd been there for a, one or two years, you know. And at the time, the vitamin E range had just the pure vitamin E oil. And you can't get it anymore. It's in the products. And she, um, when it was my turn to stand at the front of the door and greet people as they come in, um, send me a comment if you hate when people, when stores put up greeters right at the front. I mean, A, that's an absolute waste of time for that person. It's as boring as hell. And also it's super awkward. Like the person saying, hi, welcome to our store is super awkward. And you're super awkward going, hi stranger, thanks uh, for making this awkward. Anyway, I hated doing it. And she said, just put the oil on your thumb and rub it in and it'll help heal the scar. So the idea of course being that if you've got little scars, if you've got little scars, we've all got little scars for one thing or another. But um, at the time they were talking about um, if you've had the acne or spots at some point, it'll help just reduce the image of them. So I used to just stand there for hours rubbing in this oil and rubbing it in, rubbing it in. Um, yeah, but it really worked. So, but it doesn't get rid of scars. It is not a scar cream. <laughs> it's just the, it just works a little bit better. So, um, presuming our face is clean, you want to get either cotton pads or reusable pads. I have crocheted these. If you would like to learn how to crochet, let me know. I, I love teaching crochet. These are super easy uh, once you know how. <laughs> like, don't you hate it when people are like, oh no, it's really easy. You're like, oh, very good, you've been doing it for years. Um, I have made these for all my customers, made a bunch of them. And they'll be going into the Valentine's Day gift boxes. So if you would like a Valentine's Day box, let me know. If you'd like it to be a surprise, I'm for it. If you would like to ask me, like, just send me skincare or just send me bath things. Or if you see something and you're like, I want that one, uh, just <laughs> just let me know, you know. Okay, first things first. You're, you have washed your face. There is no makeup on it. Um, we'll come back to removing makeup. Let's take off my glasses. 99% of people who know me have just went, I've never seen you without your glasses on. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, so your cleanser is the first thing that you want to use on your face. If you're new to skincare, this is the order in which you do your skincare. So you do not need a lot of product. That's probably too much. Me. You literally rub it into your skin. That's it. Skincare is not hard. The hardest thing about skincare is doing it and remembering to do it. It's a bit like, um, well, actually, anything. It's a bit like trying to remember to do anything. I was going to say a diet, but since I don't diet, I should probably not say that. Um, it's remembering to do it. So it's a morning and night situation. You just want to rub it in all over your skin. So what your cleanser's doing is it's taking off all surface oils. Um, if you've got any makeup left over, which you can see I do. Oops. It's not a good advocate for removing all your makeup, is it? It's removing everything that has stuck to your face. So if you live in a city, it's going to remove all the pollution that sticks to your face. If you live in a city or by a main road and you don't skincare, if you do this morning and night after a month, it's a natural product. It's not going to work tomorrow. But after a month, you will just be like, I had no idea that my skin could look like this. Trust me, it works. So, cleanser, done, rubbed in. Toner. 
toner goes right on after. There are lots of different kinds of toners on the market. Obviously, beauty industry is flooded with stuff. This one is halfway between a water and a gel, and I really like that. The really watery ones, especially if you're new, are hard to manage. You know, you put it on your cotton pad and it goes whick, straight back off again. Your toner is doing what it says on the tin. It's slightly toning your skin. It's removing any additional cleanser that you might have missed. Having curly hair, <laughs> it's always in my hair does my hair absolutely no harm whatsoever. I'm thinking about doing a curly girl method. If you don't know what that is, look it up online. It's awesome. Um, a curly girl method with um, body shop at home shampoos and products. So if you've got wavy hair or your hair used to be curly but it's not now, um, send me a message and I'll do that video if you'd like. So here's my shiny new product that I'm loving the bits. It's called Drops of Youth. This one, there's, there's lots in this range, but this one goes on after you've cleansed and toned and before your moisturizer. Um, I chose this, I chose to try this because I was telling you I've got really, really dry skin. So it's like, a moisture barrier? Is that the correct way of saying that? When you put it on, you can still feel it a little bit. Not like, you know, there's products stuck to my face, but it's just so nice. Can I show you? Can you see how jellyfied that is? It's not very strong scented, which is awfully nice. But, like, my skin can be so dry that I, like you can see dry skin on my face when I'm at work, which is just, you know, that's not sexy at all. So I put this on and then I put on my moisturizer and I am just loving it. I have not seen, not once, like little bits of dry skin peeling off of my face, which I've had my whole life. Um, since I started using that. What I used to use was Shea Butter. Right here is my driest spot, normally, in, in the before times. And I could actually put thick, thick body butter on that and it would, it would just go weak and soup it all in and it would need more in an hour or so. But yeah, that's not necessary anymore now that I've started using this um, Drops of Youth stuff. It's really nice. I'm really liking it. So I'm now on to, sorry, I'm too, bit, too busy tripping in. Vitamin E moisturizer. This comes in two different sizes. Um, this is the big one because I know I use it every single day. I never forget to do my skincare because I have the muscle memory for it now. But um, more importantly than that, like when I don't do it for any reason, um, I can tell. I can tell like after a couple of weeks, my skin just looks like crap. So I remember, you know, and it gives you the confidence to go out without makeup on, you know, like if you're not a makeup person, then you've just went, hmm? Um, but yeah, I, I used to wear a lot of makeup, a lot. I like, I, I felt like it was um, professional of me to look professional all the time. And in my head, one of my arbitrary rules of looking professional was a full face of makeup. Um, but it takes time to do it properly, yeah. Like everything does, <laughs> like if you're going to do it properly, it takes time. Um, so yeah, having really decent looking skin and especially with masks just now, I am not putting on a full face of makeup. To then put a mask over it and get all hot while I'm at work and that makeup's just coming off on my mask and I have to replace my mask all the time. It kills me as it is that we have to use disposable masks at work and I can't use reusable ones. I use reusable ones in my personal life all the time. 
please let me know in the comments if you are a reusable mask kind of person. And do you have a favourite one? I have a favourite one to look at and then a favourite one to actually wear. Um, I got an awesome one off of Etsy. It's got kittens on it, but it's slightly too small for my face. So it's not my favourite one to wear. Me, me. Okay, so the eye cream looks like this. This is the eye cream I'm using at the moment. It's actually not cream, it's jelly. It's so nice. I'll read you what it says on the box. Plant serum cells. Renewable power of nature from youthful looking skin. Stem cells are the renewable engine of a plant. Making it thrive and renew, they are one of the strongest regenerating powers of nature. Very fancy. The nice thing about this is it's kind of like jelly to touch, so it's like bouncy to touch, so A, super good fun. Um, but I, I'm sure, I was going to say, I get dark circles under my eyes. I think anybody who lives in the world at the moment can relate. And also I wear my masks and they climb up my nose, like I was saying, and they rub here. They get right in underneath my glasses. And if you're a glasses wearing person, I'm sure you'll know it's like actually kind of handy that they go underneath your glasses because then they don't steam up every five seconds. But it also means it rubs on this really delicate part of my face, which is not ideal. Um, I actually crocheted my friend one of those, you know, the long crochet caterpillars that you can wear behind your neck and it's got two buttons on it to hold your mask at the back. I crocheted some for friends at Christmas and did I make myself one? Nope. Do they take a long time to make? Nope. <laughs> Do I have any excuses left? Nope. <laughs> uh, done. So skincare is super important and it does depend on what kind of skin you have. Um, right now we have tea tree if you have really oily skin or oily patches um it's tea tree is quite um it's quite good if you've got acne or spots there's seaweed as well the seaweed range is really nice the smell of the seaweed range is amazing um about oh, three years ago i changed my diet and my face just got really oily really quick and i was like oh this is new for me like and I went to the local body shop and um, she gave me a trial size pack of all the seaweed range and that was super helpful. I should have just got the full range because I went back after a couple of weeks. It was like, yeah, okay, I've used all that. Um, <laughs> I need the full size products. Well, other things you do. Um, the youth, drops of youth, sorry. This new one that I'm trying, I really like it. I'll keep you updated as I'm going. I've been using it for a week now. Highly recommended by me. I have um, another one of them upstairs, but um, I haven't used it yet. I like to just try things one at a time and see how I feel about it, because I don't want to recommend something if I was like, mm, it was okay, but eh. But no, if you've got super dry skin like me, highly recommended. Um, the eye cream is for anybody. It's not for people with super dry skin, it's for anybody. It's really nice, it's quite bouncy. I can still feel it like, well, maybe a tiny bit. I like it. So, um, yeah, hope you found this helpful. If you've got questions, please have questions, please ask, and um, let me know uh, what you thought of this video. That'd be great. Thanks.